Today, we are here to show you guys some dogs here right before the holidays. Maybe somebody can uh, end up being their own Santa Claus. And uh, we're gonna highlight some dogs today. We're going to show you some pictures and videos of a dog today that could make it on. And uh, we have a lot of great dogs for you. I'm gonna say my typical plea here at the beginning about uh, fosters. We always are in need of fosters. So anybody out there that wants to foster and help one of these lovely dogs, please reach out to us, let us know. If you are looking to adopt, but you are not sure about a situation, you can always foster with the intent to adopt. We call that FIA. It's basically your fostering. And if you love the dog, then the dog stays with you. Um, we're also always looking for donations. If anybody out there wants to donate, we will happily give you the, uh, the info to where to send it, what to do, the type of stuff we're looking for, always like dog treats, dog food, crates, that type of stuff. Um, so anybody out there that wants to help, we're always here. We're willing to uh, help you and uh, we would love help back. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to start with our first foster today, who is gonna be Buster. Now I'm gonna spotlight Buster. He's gonna be on the main screen here. And if there's any questions for Buster, we're just gonna throw them in the chat. And then somebody, myself or the uh, admin team that's on here will answer your question. All right, and we're gonna circle to Buster now. Good morning, Buster. Can you hear us, Nick? We can, you're good to go. Awesome. This loving boy is Buster. Buster arrived yesterday after being at our sanctuary in South Carolina for a few weeks getting his heartworm treatment done. As you can see, he's very loving, but he's trying to show you his backside instead of his adorable face. Buster's about two years old, 32 pounds. He's probably a beagle with a hound mix because he has the beagle face, but the super long legs over here. He's wonderful with other dogs. I have four dogs in my house, uh, including Miss Piggy, who's photo bombing here next to him. Um, I'm told he's also good with cats. I don't have any cats at home because one of my dogs is not good with cats. But Buster is, he loves all people. He's a mush and in typical hound beagle form, he follows his nose. He tries to counter surf. He's very food motivated, which is helpful when you're trying to train a dog. He seems to be house trained, but again, we've only had him the one day he loves walking on a leash um, and following his nose. He slept through the night in the crate without a peep, which is my definition of a wonderful foster. And he seems to be good with everyone. Hasn't met a stranger yet. Very nice, very nice. Do we Just have any- wonderful, uh... wonderful temperament. <laughs> Wait, hi to the camera. <laughs> oh, very nice. Look at you. Showing <laughs> off, huh? <laughs> All right. Well, if there's any questions for our little friend here, Buster, just throw them in the chat. And we're going to circle back to Buster. Um, I like to go back through all the dogs again towards the end, just, you know, to show you different angles of the dog and how they are. So we're definitely going to see you again, Buster. All right. Bye, buddy. Bye. I'll go run around and explore now. <laughs> you do that, Buster. Oh, we're... There he goes. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go to our next presenter, who is going to be Louie. All right, Louie, I'm going to spotlight you, and we're going to go. There's Louie. OK. There we go. Hi. You're good to go. Is Hi, Louie. Louie is a 12 year old full breed beagle. Um, I've had him for about a little over two weeks. Um, he's house trained, he's crate trained. Uh, when he first came to us, he was very, very anxious. Um, he had lost his family of 12 years. So he has some, um, a little bit of anxiety when you leave him, but he's come such a long way in the two weeks that I've had him, it's, it's amazing. He's very trainable. He is not the, um, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. This guy's learned a lot since he's been with us. Um, he's a beagle. So he's, as the earlier foster said, he's led by his nose. 
Uh, he's, he's very food oriented, but in the two weeks we've had him, um, we have trained him not to, we have a gate in our kitchen and he would bust right through the gate when he, when we first had him. And now he does not, go, uh, he won't come into the kitchen until I tell him it's okay. So he's a very trainable dog. Um, as far as I can see, he's very healthy. He's really spunky. He runs around with my four-year-old mutt as just as fast or faster. So he's a very healthy dog and I've had beagles my whole life and my beagles have lived very long lives. Um, like I said, he's 12. So it would be good if he could be fostered by somebody who's home a lot, who can really give him some uh, wonderful memories for the, for the end of his life, you know, but he's a really good boy. Um, he doesn't howl like a lot of beagles do. He only barks at like, you know, strangers at the door, which you want him to do. Um, as far as I can see, he doesn't do any chewing. He doesn't have any bad habits like that. He's a, just a, he's a sweetheart. We really love him. He's got a great personality. He's great with other dogs. Um, I don't know how he is with cats because I don't have a cat. So, um, um, he seems, I guess he seems very of, chill. He's just like, he's, very, he's, he's really, he's come such a long way in two weeks. I got to tell you when he, he first came here, he was really upset about not having his family of 12 years, of course, you know, yep. but now just, he's, he's really, he's such a great dog. I really love him. He's really terrific. He's, he, he's a he's a great dog for somebody who who is willing to deal with an older animal you know very nice but yeah, very we have lots lots of people out there that want older animals because you know it's it's easier for them because they're already trained yeah so that, that's good and he's sleeping through the night the first couple of nights he wasn't but that was to be expected but now he's sleeping you know eight nine hours i feed him in the morning and then he sleeps for another couple of hours um he you know he's He's come a long way. He's he's a very trained. Oh. No, my husband out, and I think they just got home. So, uh, <laughs> he, he's a great dog. He really is. I love him. All right, perfect. Well, thank you very much. And like I said, we're going to circle back through the dogs again towards the very end. So uh, okay. we'll see what uh, we'll see. Louis is up to then. Okay, terrific. Thank you. All right, we're going to go to our next presenter, who is Aria. Too late. Oh. Hello, Aria. Good morning. <laughs> good, Hello. good morning, everyone. This is Aria. I Ar need to go away. Leah, hold on. I need to go away. You need to go away. Okay. Aria is about two years old. Uh, she's, she likes she's been with me. Too. She's been with me about three months. Uh, she's a fantastic girl. She's a big mush. Um, she's completely crate trained. She's been with me, as I mentioned, about three months, has never had so much as a sprinkle inside. Uh, she sleeps in the crate at night. She's great with food. She likes to eat, who doesn't? But she's not super food motivated or aggressive. Um, when I feed her, you know, she'll take a couple of bites and walk away for a little while. And then 20 minutes later, I'll hear some crunches. Um, loves to play. Loves to, you know, go after ball. She's an expert tug of war aficionado. Um, and yet, surprisingly, doesn't chew anything. Uh, as you can see, we have her shoes and everything all just sitting here. It's not a risk at all. Um, as you can see, she's she can be good with kids. Um, and, a, and a ring pop. And a ring pop. Um, as you can see, she sits very well. Good, good Aria. Um, the, her big bugaboo is she's a little slow with new people. Um, we've been working on that, and she's actually a lot better. Um, at first, it took her a while to adjust, um, but she's welcoming new people quicker and quicker. Um, no cats. I do have a cat, um, and she's just way too interested. It's, it's not aggression. She just wants to say hi too much, um, and... Cats, generally speaking, don't want it. Uh, and that's... And, and the apocalypse always wins, but yes. no scratches. No scratches. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. I mean, as you can see, Arya's just a sweet girl. Look at that face. Um, completely house trained, crate trained, not food aggressive. 
Uh, just really just needs to be slow with new people. I absolutely adore having her. Um, yes. And uh, so far does not seem to be great with uh, other dogs. Um, we've had a few tests. Um, I think it's more of an anxiety thing than anything, but she'd probably be in a house with um, no other dogs. She had a great meet and greet last week. 100% would have been adopted. The family adored her but just did not get along with the resident dog. Otherwise, she would be in her forever home today. Uh, and that's pretty much it. All around, amazing girl. We love her. Hold on. Very nice. And look, you got shoes laying everywhere, and she's not eating them. <laughs> nope, yeah. That's, that's a good hey, thing. Aria, set. Set. Good show. Good Very show. Nice, Such Aria. a good girl. Good job. <laughs> One, two, three, go. And then she jumped. Very nice, Leo. Thank you very much. All Give right. me a turn for her. Not right now, bud. Maybe later, Leo. We're going to circle back around. And we're going to highlight Aria again. So maybe you can make her do the, uh, the jump thing you did last week. What do you think? All right. All right, guys. We're going to go to our next one. If we uh, have any questions for Aria, throw them in the chat. And then we'll circle back to Aria and we'll answer everything you need to know. The next presenter is going to be Copper. Let's spotlight Copper here for everybody. Hi there. There's Copper. Hi, Copper. Come on. Uh, let me this. this is Copper. They say he's about uh, four years old. He has a brindle coat, which I just learned that term, which is this kind of tiger or you know, multicolored coat, which is something special. He seems to not shed. I don't know if that's a real thing or not, um, you know, technically, but he has not shed around this house at all, like our typical fosters usually do. Even when we're driving them home in the car, they uh, tend to shake and lose a lot of hair, but this guy hasn't at all. Come on. He knows how to sit. He goes down for his treats. And one of the really nice things is that when we eat, he does not beg. I put a little video up where he um, he just sits there and waits and doesn't even doesn't bother you at all. And to me, that's always one of the biggest pluses because that can be very annoying when they beg. So somebody somewhere trained him well before he got here. Um, he pulls a little bit on the leash, but not aggressively. He's just um, curious. curious and anxious, not anxious in a bad way, anxious to get out there. Um, I think he might be a hound. I looked it up. I did a Google search and um, a plot hound, perhaps. I don't know, full, fully bred, but but mostly it seems like. Physical. He's very um, good with other dogs, loves them, very friendly. And people, and he's not overly um, playful, whereas some of the younger fosters I've had like to play with the toys and pull and tug. Cool. He doesn't really do that. He's cool. a little bit more cool. mature, I guess, where he cool. doesn't need that playtime so uh how old is morning. copper he's supposedly four four okay and around 70 pounds you think he's really 70 no i think he's like 60 maybe more like 60 it seems like i'm a, I'm a big fan of the brendels I, I love the coloring makes me think yeah. of a, a tiger <laughs> yep i never heard of that and then my friend said yesterday oh that, that you know she told me that term but he's really a sweet sweet guy and he's good in his crate. We left him yesterday for a few hours. He went right in. And that's about it. Very oh, he's not nice. crazy when he gets his food, too. He doesn't overly attack it and eat it all up. He saves a little bit for later. Ah, uh, okay. So You're a slow eater? Uh, okay. Yeah. Very nice. There he is. <laughs> Hi, Copper. Copper. And I think that might be his real name because um, he responds to it. But I don't know if, if okay. you guys made that up or... It was his real name. Very there nice. Goes. All right. If there's any questions for Copper, throw them in the chat. We're going to head to our next presenter. And Copper, we're going to see you in just a few minutes, buddy. All right. Okay. Good boy. Being a good boy. Hey, thank you. You got it. All right. We're on to Addie. Let me just turn up. Because... Good in there? Good. All right, sorry. The host is in the next room, so we're trying to mute and unmute ourselves. <laughs> um, so this, everybody, is Addie. Here we go. 
Addie is seven months old and 52 pounds. She's actually more of a medium sized dog. I really thought she was gonna be a lot bigger. She just came up yesterday, but she's very petite. She just has that very muscular terrier build to her. She is super soft, super, super sweet fantastic with other dogs. So we had another foster and she came here yesterday and five dogs of her own. So she walked into our house with six dogs and really was not stressed out at all. We've got a bunch of kids in the house. She adores the kids. As you can see, she loves her crate. Both are still set up because we had two dogs here yesterday. We let her pick which one she wanted. And this is the one she likes with the little pillow. Um, she put herself to bed in the crate last night, slept through the night, doesn't make peep in there. She loves her toys. She loves food, takes treats very gently. Um, you know, typical puppy. She can be a little bit mouthy um, with your, your hands and your feet when you're walking, but not rough and redirects very, very quickly. I don't know about cats for this girl, but all I can say is she's a puppy and she's very interested in our 15 pound mini schnauzer, not in an aggressive way, just a, I wanna play with you and say hi all the time way. So probably would be that way with a cat. As you can see, she wants to be with the other dogs and she wants to play. Maybe wants to take her nap right now, her morning nap. Um, house training, I think she gets the concept, but she's only been here a day. But typical puppy bladder, she would need somebody who would be available to get her out frequently so she could be successful with that. Uh, yeah, she, she went in her crate last night about 8.30, put herself to sleep and stayed there all night and she slept like a solid 12 hours. Now that could be she's just off transport, she was tired, but she is a really, really good dog. And, you know, Nick and I have fostered a lot of dogs over the years and, you know, we've kept very few, but we do have five dogs of our own. So we're trying to be strong here, but, <laughs> but this is a good one. So um, somebody save us from ourselves and adopt this adorable girl for Christmas. Hi, baby. <laughs> Hey. All right. Thank you very much, Addie. Very cute. Love her. She's snuggly. She's soft like a teddy bear. Everybody should have one for Christmas. Um, <laughs> right, we're going to go to our next uh, presenter, and that's going to be Layla. Let me just switch over to Layla here. There we go. All right, we're ready for you, Layla. Just make sure you unmute yourself so we can hear you. I doubt if I could figure out how to turn my camera back on. All right, here is Layla. We were outside playing ball and running around and ca playing catch before, but she wanted to come in. She is a tripod. Um, she has come up from, uh, I don't know. Zeno. Probably, yeah. You can't absent. see her? Can you see her? Yeah. Okay. okay, sorry. So this is later. We've had her about a week. She's beautiful and sweet. Um, I have a dog and a cat. There's been a couple of little jealousy issues, but for the most part, she's been great with both of them. Um, she loves her bones. She's not aggressive if I take it away from her. She's okay. She does eat super fast, but I think that comes from her situation. She came from a hoarding rescued with 18 other dogs she's a tripod i don't know if anybody saw earlier we were in the backyard running around so missing one of her back legs does not slow her down at all she loves to cuddle she wants to always be next to someone she's crate trained um, we left her in her crate about four hours yesterday and she was fine she's good in her crate at night she goes in She's good until the morning. We all slept in a little bit this morning. So she went about nine hours last night with no issues. She's about a year old. I have a cat, like I said, she was interested in him. He, he just hisses and she has pretty much ignored him. Um, other than that, she's really a sweet, sweet, sweet girl. Beautiful coloring. I hope you guys could see it. She really is a pretty girl. Hey, Layla, come here. Oh yeah, she's she's a beautiful brindle. Yeah. And uh, you know, she might have come and saw Santa last weekend. So if you see she has, yeah, she came up last week. She definitely, but she's really good. She, I will say, she doesn't love men with beards at first. My son home from, from college and they're still not, she still barks at him every time he comes in the house. But um other than that, she's really good. She's a puppy. We've lost a couple of flip-flops. We have to remember that because my dog here is uh, 12, so she doesn't have that chewing instinct anymore. But she loves her toys. She's good. She's really, really good. 
she would make and I have kids she's good with kids but I don't have young ones my youngest one is 13 so this is Layla she's very cute very cute she is very cute yeah for one of your toys yeah my toy she's very happy too seems like it she seems like she's smiling as she's running around she seems very yeah. happy, energetic yep she is she is and uh I don't know if the third leg definitely slows her down. She'll run around for a long time and then sleep nap for a little while. So she's good. Who's talking? Look yeah. Good. All right, perfect. And as you can see, she's good around my dog, right? Like there's no, it's just perfect. Although I think my dog gets jealous that she's getting attention at the moment. Yeah. And Layla was good at Petco too with all the other dogs around. Yes. So I don't think she has an issue with other dogs. No. Nope, she's good, right? All right. right. All right, Layla. Well, thank you for coming on today. Cuteness. Thank you. All right. Yeah, and I agree. Save me from adopting her. <laughs> <laughs> it's so easy, right? <laughs> it's bad. I said she's the first one I think that I'd be like, let's keep. <laughs> Although I can't keep up with her. Here she is. It's so, quick. cutie. All right. All right, sweetheart. You go play Thank with your you. toy, okay? Thank you, Layla. Bye. All right, guys. So for the ne next dog, it's going to be a virtual thing. I'm going to show some pictures. I'm going to show a video. And uh, one of our other fosters, um, Esty, is going to be uh, moderating because this is one of her, her dogs that she's had before. This is Cindy. I call her Cindy Lou, you know, because it's Christmas time. So I'm going to share my screen now and show you some pictures and then show you a little short video clip. And then uh, Esty, if you can unmute yourself, you can uh, talk about her in the background. Okay, can you hear me? I can hear you. Great. So Cindy arrived yesterday together with Buster. They actually were both at the, our sanctuary in South Carolina together. So far, the picture isn't great there, Nick. Um, she looks a little bit like Buster, except she's a smaller version. She's about 20 to 25 pounds. Um, and she's female, Buster is male, that's the other difference. Personality-wise, same thing. They love everyone. Um, hound beagle mix, it looks like Buster may wanna go outside. Buster, do you need to go do a busy? <laughs> oh, there goes Buster. Uh, and yeah, Cindy spent the night at another foster, uh, but she's coming back to me today and is available. So I still can't see the pictures, Nick. I don't know if-, if That's weird. Hold on, let me see if I can get it to come up another way. But anyway, she's um, great with people, with dogs. I'm told by the sanctuary that she barks at cats because she's scared of them. So she is okay with cats. Um, and she's very submissive. So like if you walk up to her, the first thing she'll do is lie, crouch down, lie down and wag her tail, hoping that you pet her. So just super sweet girl. Um, and if you can't see the pictures, just think of Buster, except female, smaller and more white than black. So. I'm going to get the pictures up, guys. Hold on one second. My computer's just not cooperating for some reason right now. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know if I can try to do a share screen. Um, are you able to ha uh, let me share screen, Nick? I think I got it now. Let's see if this works. Oh. There she is. There we go. <laughs> so you see that she looks kind of like a beagle, except she's got the long legs. She loves to trot around, tail up in the air, nose down to the ground, sniffing, um, and as sweet as can be. Loves attention. That's a good picture. You can see the size of her. She's not not big. She's uh, very tiny. And she's small. She's 20 to 25 pounds. She just has very long legs. So that's why we think she's a beagle mixed with a hound. 
there's a pretty picture of her. You see the beagle face, beagle ears, but legs of I don't know what exactly. <laughs> she does have some long legs. Now let's see if I can get this video to play. Let's oh, that was just a silly video. She was in the crate and her tail was sticking out of the crate and I walked by and the tail was just whacking away while she was, you know, outside while she was in the crate. It was kind of funny. Not the greatest video, but amusing. I think I can get it to play here. Let's see if I can just minimize for now and then share. Here we go. I got it. And here's Cindy. Buster. Come, Buster. <laughs> yeah, so you see her tail is going a, a million miles a minute. Uh, the, the video isn't that fast, but anyway. And you see she's <laughs> submissive. She kind of lies down when you come towards her. So definitely good with anyone else, sweet as can be. And about one, one and a half year old, 20 to 25 pounds in need of training, but lots and lots of love to give. She's a very sweet, sweet dog, everybody. So if anybody out there is looking for a, a tiny one, that's, that's your dog. All right, thank you, Esty, very much. We're going to run back through the dogs really quick as everybody's moving around and getting some different angles now. Oh, we're gonna start with Copper because he looks very sleepy. So we're gonna go with him first, just so he's, uh, maybe if he wants to take a nap. He's, <laughs> he's like, I'm done. It's Sunday, it's lazy day, it's time to sleep. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> There's Copper. See, everybody? Brindles love to snuggle. That's what it is. They all love to snuggle. Lap dogs. <laughs> oh, big stretch. And back to sleep. <laughs> all right, let's jump over to Buster. There's Buster. Hey, he's unmuting you. There he is. Hi, Buster. Hi, Buster. Very cute. Oh, I see Louie. Louie looks like he's playing. Let's shot. jump over to Louie really quick. Bye, Buster. Uh, hi, Louie. Hi, Louie, getting pat pets. Louie, 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 Louie. Louie, look up. Ah. And you have a friend. Awesome. You have yes. a friend with you. He's falling in love with my husband. Oh, oh that's okay. <laughs> Very nice, Louie. Getting pat pats, smiling, happy, happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to Aria. I see Leo doing some tricks. Okay, Leo, where are you? I see your trick, Leo. Hey, Aria. Other way. Aria, sit. Oh. Sit, Aria, sit. Aria, here, take this one. Right, I can yeah. let him out. Yes, I can. Go ahead. I have six. One, two, three. Good, good job. Good job. We got another one. Good girl. Oh, two for two. Good job. And she can get the tougher ones too. That was a, <laughs> that was an easy throw. <laughs> good job, Aria. Sure. All right. Have a good rest of the weekend, Aria. We need to do and we're, we're back to Addie, who is sleeping in her crate. Yeah, Addie says it's puppy nap time. <laughs> but there she is. She put herself right back to sleep in the crate. She's only six, seven months old. So definitely for a puppy, it's very easy. Look at those ears. Look at them. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Save me from myself. Good. You got to go, Addie. You got to go, Addie. All right. Very nice, very nice. All right. Nice, Louie. I was trying to spotlight one other dog, but it wasn't working. <laughs> so uh, we're, we're going we're gonna to stop there. 
Uh, once again, I want to thank everybody for being on today. I want to thank all the fosters for coming on and, and highlighting their dogs. You did a great job, everybody. I want to thank everybody that came on today to view the dogs that are potential adopters. Um, we really appreciate it. Hopefully you found somebody today that you want to bring home for Christmas. Um, if you have any questions, please just uh, reach out to your adoption coordinator. Um, if you have any uh, thoughts of fostering or FIA in a dog, or if you're thinking about just donating, please just reach out to the rescue. We will help you. We'll give you direction on what you need to do. And with that being said, everybody have a happy holidays and we will see you again right before New Year's. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. You got it. Thanks.